You might have heard of rage rooms, those places where you smash things to relieve some stress. But check this out. A guy in New York City just created a sob parlor where people can pay to come cry. CBS 2's Jared Hill has the story of one man who says it's a tool that's been healing him through a rough patch. Plus how experts are reacting. In New York City, where finding a moment alone can be tough. I don't know that I would necessarily cry in public. Charlie Garber has discovered a new place to clear his head and his eyes in private. It's called Sob Parlor. It really allows you to, in private, really do, dwell on thoughts and feelings that a workplace, a home, a spouse, kids may not afford all that much time to do in regular life. If you cry, you let it all out. The idea came pouring out of Anthony Villiotti a few months ago after a mini breakdown of his own. I found like tremendous benefit in, in crying and I wondered what if people did it as more of a practice versus a reaction. For 30 minutes at a time, clients sit with music, written prompts, and comfy furniture, all meant to help bring on the waterworks. Researchers have found that a good cry can actually produce chemicals to help make us feel better. Our tears releasing toxins and stress hormones, taking our brains out of fight or flight mode. Reducing heart rate, allowing someone to relax, allowing them to calm down. So for some, crying can elicit that response and feel like a relief. Grace Twarick, a clinical health psychologist with the Cleveland Clinic, cautions against only releasing negative emotions alone. I think the biggest thing is having a space to talk about the event, process what's happening, and perhaps gain some understandings. Sob Parlor has been a tool for Charlie while he navigates a rough patch. This has been a, an outlet for us to, to get past that. Sob Parlor's founder says he'd like to see crying rooms like these in high-stress environments across the country. Jared Hill, CBS News, New York. While mental health professionals say that crying can be a normal part of coping with adversity, people should consider professional help if their crying is impacting multiple areas of everyday life.